My name is Arcady Brown and I am the creator of the Velva Art Project. This project stemmed from boudoir photography in the sense that I was photographing two different women and within a small time frame. And one of the women I was photographing, she's she was 40 at the time, and she told me that she, the first time she looked at her Volvo, she was 39. And the first time she masturbated, she was 39. And it was this kind of sad moment because it made me realize that there's a lot of women out there who are still dealing with shame in so many different aspects and it goes beyond just shame and what the rest of their body looks like and then same time frame different woman and i quote this woman said i want my pussy photographed and it was like whoa like i've never heard a woman say that before and it just got me thinking about what you know what other what, what women in general would think about this and it was kind of the icing on the cake for me to say, okay, I have to do something. Like I'm gonna start asking people what do they think about having their vulva photographed. And I was hoping for 10 women to say yes. That was just my hope. And within about a month, I had 30. And within two months, I had over 50 women that had said yes. And thus the vulva art project was born. This morning, I, I have to laugh, I, um, I primped. I primped for this like pussy portrait, like I was going out on a date. It was really emotional. I've never been seen like that from another woman. So for me, uh, it was, it was comforting. Um, it, it, it felt definitely felt revealing, but it, would, and it was freeing. My body tensed up and I was like, oh my gosh, am I, I had this like pause where I was like, I felt this tension, like, oh, am I really gonna reveal this personal part of myself? And um, so there was a moment of that, like a hesitation and that kind of nervousness. And then, um, and then it felt really good. Like when I opened to it, it felt, it had a sense of relief, um, kind of a nervous excitement. And, um, and I was surprised at how relaxed I felt there's this feeling when you're getting photographed, at least any other body part of mine. I'm, I know what most of my body parts look like better than I know what my vagina looks like spread open with the camera at it. <laughs> and so I kind of have this feeling of like, uh, do I hold myself a certain way? And I don't know how to do that with my vagina. So I just laid there like, okay, here we go. <laughs> I felt uh, just as self-conscious as I do any other time. And uh, I, like I had to relax differently because I didn't know what else to do. I. I want to get to 100 photographs and I want to make a book and I want it to be kind of the atlas of the vulva in a sense and all the different beauties, beautiful ways that it comes in. Um, I want more women of color to be photographed. I want trans women represented and I want to go to the places that a lot of people are probably too afraid to go. Um, I mentioned last year I had a really traumatic year and it was probably the lowest my self-esteem had ever got. And I really found myself susceptible to um, outside influence and others' opinions. And I had this lover who was great and it was a really sweet relationship, but he would tease me about my bush. Mm. And I, I loved my hair and I, um, and I remember whenever he would say it, I would say like, don't tease me. He's like, you know, I love it. And I'm like, but it doesn't, it doesn't make me feel good when you say that. And he just did it enough times and just happened to be, um, I had been getting laser hair removal um, on some other parts and she gave me this offer about if I wanted to do my bikini. And all of a sudden it was like, I had this in my eye. He thinks I have a big bush. Mm. And I did it. I did the um, laser hair removal. And while I'm so happy it didn't completely work, I have some back. <laughs> but it was like, that was a mostly permanent thing that I did for this like tiny window of time that I was so vulnerable and insecure. This project started from a thought. And in less than six months, it has gone to something completely unexpected. And in another six months, I have no idea where it's gonna go. And I know that I can't do this alone. I know that it takes a village to change things. And I feel that's what I'm slowly finding between these female business owners, the participants. And so I feel that it's, it's that's, I can only imagine that that's where it's gonna keep going is if touching people, people reaching out, us working together, people working together, people having conversations, releasing shame, releasing fear. 
This is about normalizing the conversation of menstruation, cervical mucus, discharge, hair, pubic hair, you know, abnormal looking, abnormal looking labias. You know, this is about teaching the next generation of women that they're beautiful just the way they are. And if it means, if it means butting up against walls and pushing against controversy and pissing people off, I'm all for it. <laughs>